Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. In the previous topic, we discussed about plants and its basic parts. Now, let's talk about flowering plants. Have you ever wondered why there are a lot of plants growing on their own? In areas where there is not a single person living there to plant them? Could it be that other living things are better at planting than humans? The answer may surprise you, so buckle up. Flowers, yes, they are the ones that make our garden beautiful and colorful. And sometimes we give them to our loved ones for appreciation. But there is more important role they hold aside from giving attraction to the surroundings. And that is reproduction. For us to fully understand, let's consider plants that have flowers. These plants basically produce flowers that help them reproduce or make more plants. They are called flowering plants or scientifically called angiosperms. The question is how do they make new plants? Before answering that question, we need to explore the reproductive system of a plant. Stamen is the male reproductive part of a flower. It consists of a filament and an anther. Anther produces pollen grains. The pollen grains are tube cells where the male gametes are found. If there's a male reproductive part, there's also a female reproduction part. Carpel is the female reproductive part of a flower. It has four parts which are the stigma, style, an ovary, and ovary wall. Ovules contains female gametes and are located inside the ovary. Oh, did you hear that? It's trivia time. Did you know that the biggest flower in the world is found in the Philippines? Yes. They are called the Rafflesia. A Rafflesia plant can only either have male or, or female reproductive organs. They are one of the rarest flowers in the world, not only for their giant petals but also for their rotten smell. But that stinky smell is not to drive away pollinators but to attract them and also to trap their prey because Rafflesia is a carnivorous plant. That means they eat meat. Speaking of pollinators, what are they? Well, they hold one of the most important role in plant reproduction or pollination. Pollination is a process in which the pollen grains are transferred from the male anther to the female stigma. The transfer of the pollen grains happens when the tube cell produces pollen tube that will serve as a highway for the, for the male gametes to meet with the female gametes. Once the male gametes meet the female gametes, fertilization happens. Fertilization is the formation of zygote. The zygote divides to form embryo inside the ovule. When the ovule develops, it turns into a seed. Self-pollination occurs when the transfer of pollen grains takes place in the same flower. Cross-pollination occurs when the transfer of pollen grains takes place in one flower to another. Transfer of pollen grains is done with the help of the pollinators as we speak. They can be in the form of the wind, water, animals, and mostly they are done by the insects like bees and butterflies. We always notice how the bees like going inside a flower and then to another flower. For example, there are two flowers namely red flower and yellow flower. The bees landed on red flower to gather some nectar at the same time carry with them some pollens of the red flower. A few moments later, the bee landed next on the yellow flower and again gathered some nectar, leaving some pollen it had gathered from the red flower. In that way, pollen can now be transferred. After the flower is fertilized with pollen, fruits are formed. When ovules become seeds, a flower will transform into a fruit. Fruits are a way which many plants spread their seeds. If they get ripe enough, they fall to the ground and the seeds may grow to another plant. A lot of times the animals gather them for food and the seeds that get left behind are automatically planted. Sometimes they are positioned at the best location. That's why animals can be better at planting than us. Now we know another importance of flowers. And fruits aren't just for eating. Bees isn't just a symbol of being stung. They are all for a production of plants. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Have a nice day.